Hello everyone! In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about Zendesk support ticketing system. So nowadays, there's a lot of people who likes to sell or to buy stuff online. And if there are some problems arising, usually you will want to contact your seller or if you buy from marketplace, you will want to contact their customer service through live chats and then you will tell all of your problems through there. Next, the customer service will create a tickets for you. So basically tickets is a terms that they create in order to name the issues that is arising and usually they will give some name to the tickets, for example, tickets number one, two, three, four, five, and it's going to make it easier for them to track the issues and then to get back to the customers in order to give them a follow up. So you can create those tickets and manage the problem that your customers tells you about the orders or about your shops in general with the help of Zendesk. So here, as you can see, Zendesk is an AI first surface catered to humans. Customers and employees are more than interactions, they're human. You can give them fastest, more personalized experience using AI train in the art of customer service. So we're going to start with creating our Zendesk account. Go ahead and go to zendesk.com and then you will find a page that looks like this. So in order to create your account, you can go ahead and click on free trial. But before that, I'm going to go ahead and show you the pricing. They have the one for service as well as for sale. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you both of them. So this one's right here is the one for the surface one. They have plans starting from the suite teams with the price of 55 dollars per agents per month and then they have the sweet growth which is 89 dollars per agent per month and then we have the sweet professional as well as the sweet enterprise so all of them offers free trial except for the enterprise one because this one is going to be more of like a custom plan so you will have to do some consultations with people from Zandask and then try to create the perfect plans for your business. And they all have ticketing system, they have email chat, voice, social messaging and more. They have help centers, they do have several differences and you can pause the video if you would like to read more about this or you can just go to zandascom slash pricing. So that is the one for the services and here is the one for the sales. They start with $19 for the sale team and then they have sale growth with $55 per agent per month. And for the sale professionals, they have $115 per agent per month. And here are all of the difference of the plan. And once you know which one you want to use, you can just go ahead and sign up for the plan or you can just start with the free trial. So I'm going to go back to this page right here and then go ahead and click on free trial. All right, so now they're going to ask us to insert our work email. So I'm going to go ahead and add my emails. Next, you're going to want to add your first name and then your last name, and then you wanna enter your phone number and go ahead and continue to fill in all of the info that Zendesk needs you. All right, so now for the last steps before you'll be able to take a look at the ticketing system, you're going to want to verify your email. So go ahead and choose on the email that you have put as your sign up emails and then go and see your inbox and verify your account. Once you've done that, now you'll be able to see your Zendesk dashboard. So this is how it looks like. So we're going to start by solving tickets and here we have the options to solve trial tickets. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And here are some of the trial tickets that were made by Zendesk. So let's choose one of them. Like this one's right here. It says sample tickets is gift card expiring. When you click on the ticket, you'll be able to see the text or the problem that your customers are trying to solve. So the ticket says, 
Hey there, I was lucky enough to receive gift cards from a friend as a housewarming gift. Small problem, I've been so swamped with the move. I totally forgot about it until now and it expires in a week. Can you extend the expirations date? So here, the customer is trying to ask us for an extension date for the gift card. Now, in order to solve the problem, it's going to depend on your company's regulations, whether you do have the regulations to extend the ticket expiry date or not, or maybe even if you do, you only have, let's say, three days past the expiry date, and that is the maximum days where you can extend the expiry date but if let's say it's already a week you can't do anything about it anymore so you can try to reply to this problem so here you can see some dots appearing and if you hover your clickers on top of it you'll be able to see some explanations for example the one near the notes text box says that customers don't have to repeat themselves with the context panel and interactions agents have the entire history including info from external system making it easy to personalize responses and acknowledge past interaction so for example i want the notes here to be extension on gift cards expiry date so i know that this particular particular customer has made this request before so next time if things like this happens I'll be able to know how to handle it next we have a blue dot on the text box right here and this one is for your response for the tickets so here it says response here to tickets from everywhere agents see the entirety of each conversations agents workspace no matter what channel the customers use email chats or socials agents can answer here so all of the tickets that are going to be combined on zandesk are the tickets that comes from every channels that you have so if you remember earlier i choose email chats or social as my channels and if you have any other channels your tickets is also going to be combined into this place right here and you can just answer every single ticket through here all right so for example i said hello look how we're so sorry for inconvenience but we cannot extend the expiry date of a gift card if it's already past three days and then you can go ahead and click submit as open to send your solutions here and that's basically as easy as it is so when you submit it as open what's going to happen is the ticket is still going to need some further resolutions but if you feels like you're done taking the ticket and the problem is solved you have the options to submit it as solve so for now i'm going to change this one as in progress because i have reply for the tickets but i still need to wait for the customer to reply back and that's basically how easy it is to manage tickets and to answer it in zandesk so here i have another sample ticket and this one is also regarding about gift card so blake jackson's here says that they have a friend who recently moved overseas and i was thinking of sending her a housewarming gift i saw that you offer international gift card but i'm a little unsure about how the whole process works. can you explain like what the denominations are how we determine the recipient's currency and how to personalize the gift card cheers blake jackson so again you can type your replies through here and then you can add some notes to make it even more personalized and you can change whether you want this to be a public reply or an internal note in case you don't know the answers yet you can just change your answers into an internal notes or you can also just call them directly if you want here on the left side of the screens you'll be able to see the requesters of the ticket as well as the assignee that will handle the ticket so in case you have more employee you will be able to know which ticket was handled by who and then you also have the options to set on the priority level of your ticket so let's say that you encounter some problem that needs to be resolved fast all you have to do is change the priority into urgent and then again after you're done you can submit this and let's say this one is going to be open so i'm just going to submit this as open and you can take a look at the priority level if you scroll all the way to the right 
on your tickets list. And that's basically it. That is how you can easily receive and answer the tickets that comes from your customers on Zendesk. I hope this tutorial is helpful for you. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.